Good morning, y'all. Welcome to another college vlog. I'm Dominique. I'm currently a third semester medical laboratory student. For those of you that are new here, um, right now I'm about to head into lab for microbiology. I don't think I got that much footage from lab today, but what you saw was me identifying an unknown from a urine sample, and then we did a lot of gram stains. Uh, it was over a lot of different specimens, so there was sputum, wounds, and then I did a bronchial lavage, and I think urine from last week. So we were just looking at gram stains and stuff like that. I feel like all my assignments and case studies and stuff is piling up on me because I spent all this past weekend really this past week focusing on a final that I had in urinalysis and body fluids yesterday. I don't know how I did on it. I'm sure it wasn't you know, too bad, but I don't usually dwell on exams after I take them because I either can't remember the, ac the actual questions from the test or I don't remember my answers that I put. So to avoid that stress <laughs> of the unknown, I just don't think about the exam until the grade is posted. So I'm about to head into work in about 15 minutes and so I'm working from home today, so I'm just about to log on. Uh, I have a few appointments from now until like six something, so I'll talk to y'all later. So Fridays are just the days that I spend running around doing errands, and the last two weeks or so, it's just been me getting everything done for clinicals. So that includes all of the pre-clinical paperwork, which is like the physical, the background check, the drug tests, vaccinations, immunizations, records, and then the two-step PPD. So I just got my second skin injection and that will be read on Sunday. And I'll be completed with all the paperwork. Um, so any advice to people that are students getting ready for clinicals, don't wait till the last minute to do that stuff because <laughs> you will end up rushing. Um, I feel like I'm not really rushing. So it, really the thing that took the longest was the PPD because I had to do a two-step. That means that you get the first PPD injection, um, then you get it read 48 hours, then wait at least a week and get the second injection and then get that read in 48 hours. So like I said, I just got my second injection and I'll be get that read on Sunday so that I can turn this stuff in this week and be done. That was it for my errands today. About to eat lunch, which I made a salad. And then I have a chemistry exam to do. And then I need to study for my microbiology exam that's coming up. So really not doing much. I just started watching Seven Seeds on Netflix. Like it's been a show that's been up there for a minute, but I never felt the need to watch it. So today I did, it's wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, um, something I am doing in the process of doing is switching my lab notebook. I showed this notebook last semester I had like the blood bank and the hematology stuff. So I'll show it again. So this was the hematology, like normal values and then correlations to diseases over here. Well, this notebook ain't working for me anymore. So I started doing the microbiology, right? And I started messing up pages and I'm not one to tear pages out of notebooks. I hate to do that. So I got a new notebook. So basically I just redid everything and moved it to my Happy Planner, well, Happy Planner Notebook. So they have these little um, cute notebooks. So instead of me getting like frustrated when I mess up on pages, I can just take the thing out and redo it. So I think that would be more flexible going forward. Straight to the point, this was for Streptococcus. So this is for Enterobacteriaceae, which I'm being tested over this coming week. So that's what I'm studying this weekend because 
So this is the front. And then this is the back of it, which the Happy Planner brand. The only thing I would change are these, but I can't find the color that I would like. So I wanna go blue, like this, um, that blue right there, but I can't find it, so whatever. Did I already tell y'all what I'm gonna do today? So for the rest of the day, I'm just doing a chemistry exam, which is over endocrine system and electrolytes. And then I need to study, um, I need to look at some lectures in chemistry as well for, what do we move on to? I think we moved on to bones and minerals, tumor markers, and something else. Vitamins. No, not vitamins. That's what toxicology. Anyway, I need to have some, some lectures to finish up. And after today, so from Saturday through Monday, I will be studying for my microbiology exam, which is over Enterobacteriaceae. And I feel like I'm pretty good. I just need to just review to um, reaffirm some things in my head. <laughs> but for the most part, I feel like I'm good. And I guess that's all I'm gonna be doing today. But lately I've been getting to the point where I just do my assignments at the very last minute, which I know is horrible, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I also need to wash my hair today. It's really dry, so it's just time to wash it. Tomorrow we're going to the baby shower. We're going to Atlanta for a baby shower. And then that should be the end of this vlog. Up here, or up here, one of the sides. And you can go enter, Okay, hey y'all, so now it is Sunday. <laughs> I did not pick up the camera yesterday. Um, I just got back home from finishing up the PPD, so I got the second reading done a little while ago. And now I am completely done with all of my preclinical paperwork, so I will be submitting all of that this week at some point. As for the rest of today, I'm just going to spend it going through notes and studying for the exam I have coming up and also just um, completing some more assignments and things like that. So I guess that I'll be just ending the vlog here. I don't really have much else to talk about. So I do appreciate you guys watching another week in my life. Make sure to comment down below and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my journey in medical laboratory school. Thanks for watching.